Hey everybody, welcome to Mommy Musts with Mary Grace. And I have a really special topic today. I am talking about how the heck do I decorate for Christmas with toddlers and babies around? Um, I've had a lot of new moms ask me this question, like how do you hang up Christmas lights and how do you hang up ornaments and what do you do? Because my toddler's walking around, they get into everything and I cannot baby proof everything around a Christmas tree. Here are my tips and tricks for that. These are my mommy musts. So a couple of tips. We buy only bulbs that are plastic. So these look great. You can get them in the store now, but they are not glass. If we do have some glass ones that somebody has given me as a gift or something like that, we stick them up here way up high where um, our kiddos can't get them. So all of our glass ornaments that are potentially breakable go really, really high. I will tell you, so you'll notice that our, our tree is sort of a hodgepodge of all of the kids' Christmas ornaments um, mixed in with a lot of these plastic bulbs. And then a lot of the fragile stuff is up high so that our toddler can't grab it and pull it down. I only put what I'm comfortable with our toddler about being able to grab off of the tree about halfway up. So if you are not comfortable with them grabbing something that you're gonna put on the tree, I would say make sure you keep it as high up as possible. For our very first Christmas with our first son, when I was still trying to figure this out, we actually only decorated the top half of the tree. <laughs> and the bottom half was totally bare because originally we decorated it, we were newlyweds, we decorated it the way that we always decorate it. And along came our first son um, and was playing with the tree and pulling literally everything off from the bottom half of the tree. And so we just moved everything to the top half and had a bottom half of the tree that was bare. Since then, I'm now at my third son. And what I've realized is that as long as I am comfortable with something on the bottom being played with from a safety perspective for my son, I'm fine with it being down there. So as long as you're good with them walking up and pulling on it, it's fine. And my tip for that is really getting plastic balls you can even avoid um, the hooks, which sometimes can be, you know, concerning with babies and toddlers by putting strings through this and tying it on, looping it through very similar to this one. Um, and so you're just not as worried about a little toddler and you can even tie it shorter than this, grabbing onto something with a string. We also have these really fun, um, like little gadgets and toys that the kids can, the toddler, our toddler can come over and press. And I, <laughs> I'll spare you playing it right now because it makes a lot of sound and a lot of music and a lot of noise, but they're fun. And our toddler, a lot of times will get distracted from playing with the stuff on the tree because we just stick these under the tree for the season. And he'll come over and just press the button and kind of watch this thing dance and light up. And we've got two of them that we leave under the tree as well as some Santa hats that they can come and grab and play with. And we've noticed that since we have that stuff under the tree, this stuff that's down here doesn't get played with quite as much by our toddler. So this is my tip and trick, my mommy must. I hope that it helps you when decorating for the holiday season this year. For all of you who celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. Thank you and join me for some other mommy musts with Mary Grace, where I talk about everything that I have learned along the way as a mom of three little boys.